name is Ben Holtz and welcome to the Connect and Evolve Breathwork Mastery Course. In today's video, we're going to learn a very simple yet very profound breathing technique that's going to help you to relax the nervous system, to access deeper states of awareness during meditation, to uh, better respond to your environment if someone's uh, acting harshly toward you, you can use this breathing technique to instantly calm down, relax, and then have a, a much more <laughs> peaceful, restful, and uh, blissful day in response to anything harsh going on in your environment. And so this all begins with diaphragmatic breathing. And diaphragmatic breathing is simply breathing into your belly. So a lot of the times, uh, especially in the West, we're breathing up here in our chest and with our mouth. And this is just an emotional response to stress. And unfortunately in the West, we have micro stresses all throughout the day. Um, this response was developed over hundreds of thousands of years of evolution um, for us to quickly be able to get away from any type of threat, either fight or flight. And whenever we breathe in the chest and out the mouth, uh, we're in this fight or flight state. This uh, sympathetic uh, nervous system is activated and it sends all the blood from the gut into the arms and the legs so that we can either run away or defend ourselves. Uh, unfortunately, um, in the West we have all these different micro stresses happening throughout the day and whenever you combine that with some coffee and cigarettes, nicotine, uh, food that's not very good for you, lack of nutrition, then it creates this really detrimental cycle of where we're constantly chest breathers, mouth breathers, and we're aiding in this uh, fight or flight state that's uh, not very good for us. It's going to, uh, in fact, it's terrible for us. It's going to decrease your ability for your bodies to defend itself, your immune system, uh, since it all resides within your gut ecosystem. Um, it's not all the blood leaving that, and going to your arms and legs is going to really be detrimental for your health. So, whenever we breathe diaphragmatically, we are instantly accessing, <clears throat> we're instantly filling the body with oxygen, uh, higher quality of oxygen as well whenever we breathe through the nose. So, just remember that your mouth is for eating and kissing your mother, and your nose is for breathing. We get an incredibly uh, higher quality of oxygen whenever we breathe through the nose and whenever we breathe through the nose and into the belly then we're breathing the way that we should be in the way that we were designed to breathe um, for hundreds of thousands of years since human beings existed and so if you have trouble with diaphragmatic breathing I'll show you quickly quick example is you can put your hand on your belly and just push your belly out and back in. So breath in breathe again very simple. Okay so this is diaphragmatic breathing whenever we do diaphragmatic breathing it's going to really help us to relax. And this is how we should breathe all the time. This is what I teach during breathwork class. This is uh, how we should be breathing during meditation. Uh, belly breaths is what I like to call it. And it is the, the premise, the backbone of breathwork in a whole. So once we begin to really feel comfortable with diaphragmatic breathing and we can access other types of breathwork techniques and <clears throat> really evolve our practice. But for now, we're gonna breathe into our belly, then our chest, then all the way into the head. You'll feel oxygen coming into your throat, in your neck, and you'll even raise your eyebrows to bring all of that oxygen into your head. And then whenever you take that big deep breath, you're gonna briefly hold it at the top. So, belly, chest, head, and then 
and you'll slowly release through the nose. And you're gonna activate something called ujjayi breath. And ujjayi breath is what you've probably learned in your, uh, uh, your yoga class, <laughs> your, uh, your vinyasa flow. And so this is a very simple way to uh, explain ujjayi is if you've ever like fogged up a camera lens or like a window to write something, it's like you're using your throat, the breath, to, uh, to fog something up. But you're, you're doing this exact same thing, like Darth Vader or something, uh, but you're doing it with your mouth closed, breathing through your nose. Should kind of sound like Darth Vader breathing. And um, this Ujjayi breath really activates uh, a special energy within the body. Um, there's not too much science behind the Ujjayi breath, but it, it, the feeling that I get and all of my students get whenever we breathe this way uh, is pretty phenomenal. And it also slows your breathing down as you're breathing out. So uh, it's really nice. So this technique, right? We're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna breathe the belly, chest, head, hold for three or four seconds. You can even hold it more, as long as you'd like, really. And then, ujjayi breath. So, This is an incredibly relaxing breathing technique. I call it Samadhi breath um, because I use it during meditation and it really takes me deep in meditations and it's also phenomenal for integrating uh, intense plant ceremonies um, or experiences or intense breath work sessions such as like neurodynamic or holotropic or shamanic breath work. And I also teach in my courses um, and workshops but this breath is, it is the backbone, it is the premise of breath work. And you can use it at the office, you can use it driving your car, you can use it uh, at home. I don't suggest driving the car unless you're like really aware, keep your eyes open, uh, safety first. But you can use it anytime, anywhere. And if somebody calls you up and, and they're pissed and they're yelling at you, you can take one of these big deep belly, chest, head, hold it and then slowly release <sighs> with your ujjayi breath sometimes it's also called breath of fire your ujjayi breath okay guys and a little bit of the science behind this breath and uh, is it's going to activate the parasympathetic nervous system and so this is uh, the state where you're in rest and digest instead of fight or flight and <clears throat> through many of these breaths, like if you're utilizing this for meditation, you're going to um, access uh, a deep theta or alpha state, brainwave state in, in, your, uh, in your internal being, right? So your brain waves are pretty much constantly going around uh, beta during, <clears throat> during the day, which uh, is eight to 35, or basically cycles per second. And whenever you get it down to around four to eight or eight to 12, um, then your body goes into this really beautiful state of, of healing, of tranquility, of peace. Uh, this allows your biology to really nourish itself and flourish and grow and heal itself naturally. So bringing us, us down into these, these deep, deep states of relaxation, not just going to sleep, but deep states of relaxation uh, during meditation, during just your, your waking hours of the day allows the body to really heal. Um, drinking coffee, uh, being stressed during the day, the body's constantly defending itself and it's not able to heal itself. It's not able to grow. If you look at the work of Dr. Bruce Lipton, you'll see that the cells in a Petri dish, uh, which our body is just one big Petri dish, uh, whenever they're introduced to the uh, chemicals and compounds that are released into the bloodstream when we're stressed, they defend themselves. This is uh, norepinephrine, noradrenaline. And we utilize these, these, uh, these compounds and we utilize norepinephrine and adrenaline and different breathwork techniques to wake up the immune system. But if it's, you, if it's happening constantly throughout the day, then the cells are not able to 
perform their daily duties. They're defending themselves. The blood rushes to the arms and legs, and your immune goes, your immunity goes down, your ability for your body to defend itself against its environment goes down, and this is really detrimental to your health. So during the day, first thing when you wake up, really I highly recommend uh, either doing meditation or breath work. So coming into your samadhi breath, the belly, chest, head. If you're having trouble with the belly breath, just focus on putting your hand on your belly and pushing your belly out whenever you take breaths in. And belly, chest, head, and then ujjayi breath on the exhale. And I've watched this breathing technique change my life and the lives of a whole bunch of people. Uh, and it is the beginning of breath work mastery. And uh, as the great Swami and Yogi Sri Rukteshwar, uh, also the guru of uh, Yogananda, the, the author of Autobiography of a Yogi, he would always tell his students that the uh, secret to cosmic consciousness or enlightenment is intimately related and connected with the mastery of the breath. And so that's all we're doing here, guys. We're mastering our superpower, the breath, so that we can utilize it to live a more fulfilling, peaceful, and blissful life. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name's Ben Holtz, and I will see you soon. Peace.